uh, we the brand new bosses in the town, team snap gym rats, yeah baby we around, we the brand new bosses in the town, team snap gym rats, yeah baby we around, I'm snapping, she flexing, I'm snapping, she flexing, I'm snapping, she flexing, I'm snapping, she flexing. <laughs>
Because how many days has, has it, or how many months has it been? Since when? Since you first started, like did you actually first start working out yeah. as soon as the challenge? Mm -hmm. So how do you feel from, 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 from feel, before to now? I feel great now. Like I literally can start my work day at 5 a.m., go to work, knock that eight hours out, go to the gym, come home, cook clean, mm -hmm. and still feel like totally energized. Like before, tired all throughout the day. Mm -hmm. struggling like it was a struggle now it's like wow like a uh, big like drastic change and it's like it's no turn to bed now so how, what what has it done for your confidence as far as mentally as far as physically um, um mentally mentally it has done a lot I, i'm fearless now mm -hmm. since like the challenge i feel like i can do anything now honestly is i can go anywhere by myself before i felt like i needed people to be with me or i needed Somebody just always around me and I feel content like by myself mm -hmm. doing everything by myself working out by myself eating right by myself and It's just like the feeling is like amazing. amazing. How do you um, how do you feel? Like mentally I feel good, you no know, Just mentally because I think honestly like coming to the challenge I, I, I had a feeling that I would like when I like how I pushed myself to do that mm -hmm. But just like I never did cardio or any of that stuff. So I didn't have that so I was like kind of Hesitant, like when going to the beach or if you had a pool to like take your shirt off or like not, I would take my shirt off, but I didn't feel as confident as I, I as I am now. So just my confidence level was like really up, now, so I'm happy to take my shirt off. Yeah, it's just crazy. 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 Two kids, so this is what I, I want to ask you mm -hmm. because a lot of people, especially a lot of African American women, mm -hmm. they always tend to, um, um, I guess, put everybody and everything before them. Like they, you know, the kids, they have to work, they always say, I don't have time. And a lot of us kind of tend to let ourselves go. Mm -hmm. How is it now? How is it? Um, how do you? Um, make uh, this lifestyle a part of you? Like, how did you change um, what, I'm gonna ask you this, in the course of your every day before you did this, did, were, were you one of the people that was like, oh, I don't have time to work out, I don't have two, I don't, I have kids and this and that? No. Were you one of the um, people? No, I, I feel like I'll never, I don't believe in excuses. I feel like if you want to get it done, get it done, period. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But with me, I have a great support system mm -hmm. behind me wholeheartedly. So it's like, I, I can do, you know. So what would you say to, to people that don't have a support system? Because it's a lot of people that, um, it's a lot of people that I know that they don't feel like they have a support system. Me too, me too. I do, I do. You know, people mm -hmm. hate on them, the yeah. family, husband, wives, whatever. Right, and it's unfortunate for that, but... What would you say to them? Like, if, if somebody came to you and was like, "Listen, I want to be healthy. You know, I don't, I don't have a support system. I don't have motivation. You know, what would you say to them that might can help them or change like their mindset?" Don't give up. Don't ever let yourself go. Just pray about it and just just try to get it done. When the kids are in school or if you're off, if you have. You can do it in the comfort of your own home. You don't always need to go to a gym. You don't always, you know what I'm saying? You can get a mat from Rawls Burlington and lay it down and get it done. Because I go to the gym, but when I'm home, I do it. I get on that mat and I'll do it. Even if it's 10, 15 crunches or 10 squats, you're doing something. Just try to get it done every day and you'll see results in the comfort of your own home. So it's not like, oh, I have to go to the gym. I need a trainer. No, you can get it done on your own. And what would you say Dave, to like? I would say to men, cause it's a lot of it's a lot of men, African American men, they got high blood pressure, diabetes, and it's um, for me. I think that men don't really like women are more concerned about their physical. Like mm -hmm. we're more concerned about how we look, how we fit in clothes. Men like that's what I mean. like mm -hmm. that's all I want. <laughs> that's all I care about money and girls. Like so, pretty what would you much. say? Pretty much, what would you say? Um, to as far as like why why do you think um, the the man's mentality is is like that like a lot of them like they just don't really care about mm -hmm. their physical being or their body. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I don't. 
Because before, because like, before you, before you, you say you, okay, you say you, you did, you, you was a little um, insecure. Or whatever. Yeah. So I'm sure it's some men that are insecure, but it's, it's like, why do you think men aren't as motivated to, you know, to do it? To uh, do I just, it. I just think like you said, they're more concerned with uh, females and um, making money, but health is well. You know, if you're not, if you're not healthy. Like, you gonna die at a young age, so then you ain't, you ain't no money, man. No girls, now. So I just think guys don't really look at it like it's that important in their life mm -hmm. because they still can get the girls that they have a little bit of weight on. But it's just they have to think of it internally, like how is this gonna affect me twenty or thirty years from now? That's how right. they have to look at it. Exactly, I agree with it. Um, did anybody help you in the challenge? Yeah, no prep. My sister helped me a lot with the uh, no prep. So if I need some no preps. Shatika B. <laughs> but yeah, she helped me a lot with the uh, no press because I didn't, I didn't know anything about that. And that was the like the hardest part for me during the challenge was like transforming my diet over to eating that. And it was like, sometimes I felt like hungry still after I ate my meals. And I'm like, oh, I got to snack on something. I'm snacking on like broccoli or mm -hmm. cabbage or something like that. So yeah, definitely my sister helped me with the uh, no press. How was, how was the meals? Like, I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're not going to be as tasteful mm -hmm. as sugar and junk food but how how did you like it did you did you like eating it would you like fuck it i just i want to eat for the results mm -hmm. no I, I still eat like that no it was uh it's good i mean the food is good it's not as salty sometimes like you eat out it's a lot of uh salty food but the food is good it makes you feel better and then you don't i wasn't i'm not as full when i feel full i like feel lazy or feel bloated it's like just enough and when i'm still hungry i eat a couple more string beans or some more broccoli to uh um, fill me up a little bit more. Cause I always tell people, like I tell my clients, I tell people, you're not supposed to eat for pleasure. Mm -hmm. Like everybody eats for pleasure. If you eat for pleasure, I you learn that. Three hundred fucking pounds. Like, mm -hmm. right. I'm tired. Here. I'm if you eat for pleasure, you're gonna be like three hundred pounds. You gotta eat for your life and for for results. Mm -hmm. Um. But what was some of, some of your struggles during mm -hmm. during the challenge and now? Like, what were some of your struggles? Um, the first week, the eating, because like I said, I was used to eating what I wanted when I wanted. And I hated oatmeal. You know, I love it. I had to get used to egg whites. I wasn't a fan of it. I always drank water, but I felt like I just wanted to consume nothing but water. Like, yeah. I'm obsessed with orange juice, so I couldn't have it. So that was a struggle. Mm -hmm. And I work um, in the hospital in the food service department. So I'm around all of that on a consistent basis every day so it was hard mm -hmm. it was it was temptation all around me but my co-workers supported me and helped me out and you know told me his mind over matter mm -hmm. and that was my biggest struggle probably about the first two weeks the first after that uh was fine how was it getting the food down because a lot of people were, a lot of people were used to eating once a day or twice a day how was it getting like the five meals um, and was it a struggle? It was, was it, it was it was definitely a struggle getting the five meals in. So I kind of like did the because I remember I told you like it's, it was kind of hard because I always was still hungry. Mm -hmm. So I kind of did it like two big meals, not big but like nice size portions versus the five small mm -hmm. meals. Yeah, and that kind that worked out for you. It like, did. It, it did. It did. Better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you? Was it was it hard? Was it hard for you to eat five meals? Was it? No, I was, this, I, I did the, the small, like, yeah, like, the half cup, so, like, I was doing all that, but no, I was, like, dogging the food, and I was still, like, feeling so hungry. Hungry. Yeah, so that's why I was eating, like, more broccoli, or I was eating more, uh, strings. I was eating more vegetables, because I figured that wouldn't hurt you as much, but no, I was mm -hmm. killing the food. I was still hungry afterwards, so. Yeah, you can eat, like, you can eat, if, if you eat five minutes, especially with men, mm -hmm. you guys can eat, like, all day, like, I know, um, fitness, you know, Guys that are into fitness uh, competition, mm -hmm. eat like ten times a day. Oh, yeah. yes. and you can definitely eat more. It's just, it's just more. Um, it's just more what you eat. Um, which, you are what you eat. Yeah, you are. You are. <laughs> you are what you eat. Um, did you think? Did you think? So when the, when the challenge came, did you really believe that your body would change? Did you believe it or yeah. were you like, oh, I, mean, I, was, um, I didn't think it would transform as much as it did. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I figured I'll get a couple of ads here and there. I didn't think it would be like six to eight. Like when I seen that, when I took that final picture. I mean, I was looking in the mirror and all that stuff. But when I compared it from like the, the before first picture, picture to the after, I was like, like, damn, I really transformed. But I didn't think 
it would happen that fast in 30 days. I thought it'd take like you know two or three months to get to where I'm at now. Yeah, yeah. yeah all you gotta do is a slight change mm -hmm. in your in your diet. And you already was working out. Yeah, so that wasn't the hard part. This is the eating part. The eating part. Yeah, that was the only hard part really. So you gonna keep are you gonna keep doing it or did, yeah, yeah, you, did, you, did going, you incorporate it in your life? Yeah, it's my life. Because you know you know you can go right back to no, 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 I ain't the old one. one. No. Mm -hmm. No cheat days, so I ain't doing no cheat days. <laughs> and I don't even drink alcohol no more, so I ain't done with that too. So I'm good now. Did you think your body would change as, as much as it did? Because I was like, when I see it, I was like, <laughs> I almost <laughs> fell. I was like, God. I'm like, I, I knew, knew, you know, I knew my stomach would come down. I knew if I drink nothing but water and lots and lots of water and work out, I knew it would come down. But I didn't think I was going to gain the, the two top abs. And mm -hmm. I never even knew I had bent fat until I took those before yeah, history. And I was like, wow, like I got to like change it. But I knew I would change, but I didn't know it was going to be that, that dread. I didn't. Yeah, because you, y'all did, y'all y'all did real good. That's why I tell people too to take before and after. Because mm -hmm. people, people don't really realize that they look a certain way or they gain a certain That's way. I didn't know I looked nothing like that before they, they initially. Right, and then when you take a picture and, and you compare it to like, you know, look at you now and look at where you, look, look at you when you, um, th 30 days later and look at you now. And you're like, God damn, I was that fucking big. Right. Like, hey, the rose, you swear. Right. <laughs> I don't like a lot of none of that. No, it's right here. Can't see it. So it's like, oh my God. Like, fix that. Like, did you um? Did anybody? Was it any negativity? Like, did anybody say anything? Was it like when you when you posted your pictures? What were what were some of the comments? Yeah. What were some of the comments like? Like, what? what did did you get any negative feedback? Did you get more positive feedback? Um, for the most part, I got all positive feedback from all my followers. Mm -hmm. I've seen a couple of negative comments on. What, did, what, what was some? Uh, what was some of them saying? Oh my god! Um, some know. guy said, um, "Oh, it's not a big change in her body. She's poking her stomach out. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the only thing changed was her legs and her but something like that. That sort of basically." Like I was frozen, like my results weren't real. And and what what after the change, after your family, your friends, you know, what 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 were their thoughts? What were their comments? How did they react? Um well my mom, she was in disbelief for the first couple of weeks. Oh my god, you eating right? You going to the gym again? You really sticking to this? She was very, very proud of me and she still is. She's like, Wow, you really changed your life around for the better. Because mm -hmm. I was like Eating everything and drinking everything. Yeah, and I heard you was a. Um, yes, and I, I didn't care. I guess. I heard you was Yes, a, and I feel like all of that, all of that went right here. Fishbowl. Yes. It's like Robin. Yes. Yes, I don't know. Let's it. go get a fifth. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, that life is over. <laughs> but 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 if, if but I'm telling you, if you a big drinker. All that shit goes into your stomach. That's what it was. I wasn't if you stop, it out. It was, it was, it was literally all liquor and, and bad food. Yeah. yeah. If you stop, and I'm talking about you stop like cold turkey. Like people don't believe I stop if you cold stop turkey, cold turkey, not even a glass of wine. Breaking a bad thing. habit, your body will change. It's like, it's like if you on drugs and you go to rehab for 30 days, mm -hmm. you going to come out like, bitch, you look good. <laughs> you look good. Oh. You can all your weight back, but right, it's, right. it's the same. You know, it's the same thing. How? What about your son? Cause I heard he boxed. He, yeah, he boxed her kid. How was he? How was he? Um, was um, he happy for you? Yeah, he was. Like I said, everybody was supportive, and he was like really proud of me. Like, mom, I'm so glad you're doing this. Like, he would work out with me. You know, the workouts I was doing. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, he would help me out. Like, hey, mom, try this workout. Your stomach girl, try this, cause he's he's much more shaped than me. Mm -hmm. Eleven years old. Mm -hmm. So, cause he's in the gym every day. So he's athletic. Like, but he helped me. He was happy. What about what was the reaction from your family, friend, girlfriend, I got kid, a, whatever? Yeah, I got a lot of good um, little feedback. A lot of positive. I don't think anybody said anything negative about it. Just like. Like she, she turned you like they've seen it before and after pictures. I posted it. They're like she, you, you, you like that now? That's what you doing mm -hmm. now? That's how you eat now? <laughs> and I still like post the fools that I meet. They're like, oh yeah, you on your grind now? So I just like support the food again. My mom was like, she just like, good now. I gotta take her out to eat because I got the money now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I gotta take her out to eat. Hell, you got to, you got you better take it to the because she <laughs> helped. She, she cooked. Cook. She like, cook. She hope. Yeah, no, yeah, she oh, she no prep for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Someday she did. She did. I, I did my own. Yeah. I'm no prep my own. Yeah, I hope you know how to cook. Bro. I'm good. I know how to cook. Mr. <laughs> Dave. 
You know how to cook, right? Yeah, you know how to cook. Um, also, are y'all going to continue? Are you going to continue this? What, what, after, after this change, what, what has came into your life? What have you started doing with something new? You know, what, what have you been, you know, doing? I, I love it so much. It's like all I think about. And I feel like it's becoming a lifestyle, eating super clean. Mm -hmm. and I mean, you know, here and there I'll have some hot wings or a cheese stick, you know, because I'm allowing myself to have one cheat day. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm definitely going to gonna stick, to it, stick with it for the long haul. So are you going to, cause I'm, cause I, I saw that you was training people, so you gonna start training? People. <laughs> are you? Gonna I, I was, I was thinking about it. I don't want to use that word loosely, trainer, cause mm -hmm. I'm not dead. But I felt like I'll teach you what I know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You want to attack certain areas, core, back, legs. I know. So I'm willing to help whoever. But I, I am thinking about, you know, Train. training. That's good. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Like you, yeah. you, you know, you, you, you educated about how to eat. Yeah, know. that's another thing. I'm still learning as I go and reading and right. wanted and knowing the body. And, yeah, so that's how that's 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 how I started. Like I started, I started. I was always the athlete. I, I boxed, mm -hmm. and then I got um, you know, I hit up somebody that was into like uh, the fitness world because mm -hmm. I I didn't. I was like you, playing ball, didn't mm -hmm. know how to eat, um, eating whatever I wanted, but I was never. You know, overweight because I'm always was active, but I wasn't always in I wasn't in the best shape of my life. Mm -hmm. And then when I started, when I actually learned how to eat, I'm like, uh oh, you supposed to eat this? And, and I had a hard time, you know, forcing um, food. I'm like, I can't eat this shit. I can't eat five meals crying. Like I can't do it. My trainer like, no, just keep doing it. Okay. You know, you it'll, it'll um your body adjust. So um, I started doing that, and then if I learned. You know, I got a, my, one of my friends, she asked me to train her. Okay. I just was like, all right. You yes. know, I, I ain't never went to. Okay. I'm like, okay. So I trained her, and I trained her the way I was taught by, okay. you know, this person. And then I already knew how to, you know, to exercise yeah. and boxing and working out because I was the athlete. So once I knew how to eat, it, that was it. And then right. when she lost, 90, she lost like 90 pounds in seven months, I'm like, shit. Right. I'm like, this is my, you know, my passion. That's how I was. I was like excited. Like, I got fucking air. Right, right. I can wear whatever right. I want. Right. So, yeah. Right, not only tricks again. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, like, that was, that was, that was, that was amazing. So, um, would you guys do it again? Or would you recommend, would you recommend it to people to we'll try it? I would definitely recommend it to people to do, to challenge themselves and be a better them. Because I was thinking about doing one in April. Because a lot of people was like, April, because they saw Yeah, I got people that was asking me, like, is she going to do another challenge? So, yeah, I definitely recommend them. Yeah, they saw your results. They was like, damn. A lot of people yeah. was like, hit me up. So, but you got to be motivated and that if you got to want it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's not a walk in the park. I mean, I literally was in the gym 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. Like, it was it was hard. It was a struggle. You know what I'm saying? Like, what would you tell somebody that was just um, inquiring about changing? Just gotta work hard and dedicate. I mean, that might sound like cheesy or cliche, but that's what right. it is. I mean, pretty much. You gotta, you gotta want success. I mean, this is a quote from Eric Thomas: "Like motivation, but you gotta want success as bad as you wanna breathe." Mm -hmm. And that's what you gotta do sometimes. If you wanna win, and you wanna see like these results that you know she had and I had. And it's just not gonna happen overnight. You gotta right. keep going. You gotta keep. You gotta stay patient with it. It's like right. you gonna see results the first week, but you're not gonna see the same results that you seen the first week on that fourth week. That's why you gotta stay committed to it. You gotta stay dedicated. What about you? What would you tell? What would you tell? Tell somebody like, um, say they wanted to enter the challenge or they wanted to change their life for the better. Mm -hmm. What would you say to them? Just, just go in with a positive mindset. Just, just go in with that warrior attitude because mm -hmm. sometimes you're gonna have to like really have that. Like it's gonna be temptation all around you. If it's your friends ask you go out and have a drink, if it's pizza and wings sitting right. in front of you, mm -hmm. if it's Hey, get a donut that won't hurt. And I mean, I turned down literally everything. I restricted myself from everything. It's really like a mind, it's like a mental thing. You gotta really like have that mindset and want it, and I think you'll be fine. So yeah. I'm definitely recommend it. You gotta make it, you gotta make it a lifestyle. Right, basically. Because I tell a lot of people too, like, a lot of people want it. Because even with this, it's 30 days, so it could be. Like you can, it can just be temporary for y'all. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm gonna just do this shit. I did it for 30 days, I won, whatever, and then I'm gonna go back to, you know, to my regular 
Why would you want to go back? Why would you? Like, why would you want to go, go backwards and you going forward? I'm going to keep pushing myself. Yeah. Cause I get a lot of uh, a lot of matter of fact. What would you? What would you? Why? Let me ask you this, cause I'm cause it gets on my nerves. But why do you think that African Americans like? Why don't you think that we we exercise as much as other race? Why do you think that we're number one in obesity? Our kids are number one in obesity. Like why? Why? Why do you think that African Americans don't prioritize Too their health? Too comfortable and not consistent, and don't really take it seriously. No other right mindset. Yeah. They they rather have like, the best design of clothes, mm -hmm. but right. you're about to. I don't want to say like you're about to die like a couple like years, but that's what it basically is. You got the best clothes on, but your right. your health isn't that good. So what's the point? Mm -hmm. Right. Not good or worse. Yeah, because I get. I my my clients is primarily African American. This is like frustrating. Like God, damn, you only twenty four and you almost three hundred pounds, and you only thirty and you you know mm -hmm. you you three you three something. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, why don't we? You know why don't I? I don't understand why don't we as African Americans prioritize like our health? Better. Why don't we? Yeah. Why don't we want better? Why don't we put? Why don't we push? Each other, you know what I'm saying? Right, why, right. why are we so like negative towards each other? As for why do we think about the sneakers, the the bags, going right. out, drinking right. like you right. you used to, you right. know? Instead of like, no, they don't, they don't take pride. They don't have a, a driving force for why you for why they're doing stuff. So if you don't have a driving force to work out, then you won't you won't do it. But how? Do, all right. So you say they don't have the driving force. How how do how do they find it? Like how do how do you find motivation to 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 want to help yourself? Sometimes surround yourself yeah. around different people. Or sometimes a doctor got to tell you, like, right? You, you obese and it's not and you right. close to diabetes, which is going to lead to death. That sometimes people have to hear like that is coming up for you in order right. for them like to get in the gym and actually start working out. Mm -hmm. But even with that, they'll change and then go right back, they mm -hmm. revert right back to what they were doing. Until they gotta see that doctor and then they tell them what they need. I don't know, it's just like, yeah. I don't know. It's sad yeah. to say it's true, but my it's whole time, but it is. It's, it's just a mindset. Yeah. Some people, are, some people are wired differently, too. It's just a mindset. So, yeah. how would you. It's, it's, so, how would you. Like, what would you. If. 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 Um, how could you. Because I. Because I don't. I never. I don't understand it sometimes. I, I don't understand how people can just, um, you know, not exercise, mm -hmm. not eat right, or whatever. What can you tell me? What can you tell me why people, why people don't like? What can you tell me? Like, why didn't you do it? Like, why didn't you? Why would you just every day happy with, you know, looking how you look, drinking every day, eating? I, like had, I became shit. accustomed to it. It was just. Sadly, it was, it was that lifestyle that I was living. I was comfortable with it, mm -hmm. unfortunately. But but did you did you know that it was did you even though you knew it was bad for you, you still was like yeah whatever yeah that's that's sadly right yeah I, I knew it was bad for me mm -hmm. drinking and eating fast food and not cooking the healthy meals I should be cooking and I still did it and this and entering a challenge. I guess what made you want to try something life. different. <laughs> just seeing the challenge post, is that is that something that was like... It's so weird crazy. because I was laying down on a Sunday and I was just scrolling. And, and it, I don't know, it may sound corny, but it like spoke to me. Like, I needed to do this. Like, Robin, challenge yourself. Like, that's the money. Like, it's a new year. Mm -hmm. Challenge yourself to be a better person. To feel better. To do better. To want to help others. Just... And I, I just know, I knew that's what I needed to do mm -hmm. when I seen that challenge. Like, it's time. And that would get the same for you. Yeah, we're just, just challenging like, yourself. I wasn't competing with anyone, but I was competing with, my, with, competing with myself. Same here, right. And that's what I mean. You can't really worry about what other people are doing. Right. That's when you'll fall behind them. Exactly. So I was just more so worrying about myself and just trying to get a better me. That's what I wanted to get a better me. And I mean, I'm like, I like this is not really got nothing to do with it. But I'm about to get into coaching football, oh, yeah. coaching high school football. So I'm gonna implement what I know into these young exactly. kids. Like, eat healthy, get yeah. five meals a day. And that's the overall make your performance better. Cause imagine, just imagine, like I was saying, imagine if we knew how to eat mm -hmm. while we was playing uh, the yeah, sport. Yeah, of course. You know, so much, so much, so much better. 
as, as mentally and mm-hmm. physically. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just imagine if we was just eating clean mm-hmm. and going off our time. This yeah. is like your son. That's why I'm, you know, he got to eat right. He has mm-hmm. to, because he got to make weight anyway. He's yeah. a boxer. Yeah. So he got to eat clean. He's real strict about what he eats. <laughs> but, that's, but that's good. Yeah. You know, that teach, teaching him at a young age, even though he's playing a sport, but that's but still, I played a sport. He played a sport, and we didn't know how to. We was eating anything we wanted. Right. But if we would have, you know, somebody would have taught us how to actually eat clean, you know, drink water. Because I was drinking sodas, fucking right. hugs, chips. I'm like, still playing ball. But if I would have been, you know, on the middle plane or strict, right, strict clean eating mm-hmm. habit, then I probably would have been one of the best. Women basketball players in the in the country. I probably be in the mm-hmm. WNBA. So um, I'm glad I'm glad you implemented that with your son. But um, I'm glad these guys came out. We want to end end the podcast. Um, I want to thank Robin for coming, and I want to thank okay. Dave. For Tell me on Instagram name where they can Rockin find Robin R O C K I N Robin R O B I N underscore two one five. And her body is nice. <laughs> <Can't see it. laughs> and tell them where, tell them where they can, uh, we can, they can hit you up. They got any questions, whatever. Instagram at day ten underscore. Day ten underscore and rock. What is it? Rock and Robin underscore two one five. Rock and Robin. If y'all women, men, whatever y'all want to know anything, how she did it. I'm sure you can DM her. Don't be all crazy, <laughs> getting on her fucking nerves. But if y'all want to answer questions, ask some questions. Feel about free. It. Feel Please free. feel free. This is going to be up Monday on our YouTube page, Gym Race Athletics, our YouTube channel, so everybody subscribe to it. Again, I want to thank our guests. These are the New Year New Me winners. We will be having another contest in April. They should sign they should up. Sign up. up. Right. All right. Thank you, everybody. Bosses in the town, team snap, gym rats, yeah, baby, we around, I'm snapping, she flexing.